My wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. What's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. You got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! <laughs> we have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, yeah. to stay alive. I could sleep right The Almighty now. understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen! Amen! <laughs> but here, on this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What the? Ah. Fuck you! Get her out of here. 
Fuck you Come all! Come on, gorgeous, let's goddamn go. Goddamn redneck assholes, get off of me! <laughs> What about you? Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls, it got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm -hmm. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions, because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island? I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. 
Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have yeah, rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Oof. Uh, guess I'll go find a bush. All right. Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, 
He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight ter turpin ter Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, elastic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, was and we had to go south. We, Nero. They yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was away. overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier.
Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can hey, I do for you, You're not supposed to be here. Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scattered out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Huh. Corporal, later. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, report to me at the Diamond Lake outpost. Captain, yes, sir. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. There you go. Huh? Ah, oh, okay. Corporal, see you around.
is St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, does this, this thing even work? I don't think it's radio. Anyway. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry for some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hollowing wood. So, sorry, sorry. What, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's hey, uh, hurry. it's just I'm, I'm, having, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh shit! Huh? That's what I thought. Gotta go. Saint John out. Need some petrol, yeah? All right then. Corporal St. John, you, you stay safe, yeah? Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Corporal, uh, what can I get for you? Hey, Serge. Hang on, I'll open the gate. Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Hey, look. There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so... Words out of the camp... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Think you can hurt him? Get the... <laughs> Drugs, Taylor. So no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I'm just. I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious. He writes in it and out of camp all the time. And so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, goddamn. Well, listen to me. Just go to Corey. Let him handle it. Got that? Ah. Down! Someone's here! 
shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, out. <laughs> Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, you were numb. <sighs> Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Well, if he still has it, take his militia insignia. I won't have it soiled by the stench of a traitor. All right, Anderson. Let's go take care of business. No, <laughs> oh, he's got to be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Closer look. Which way? Oh shit, the wolves. We can use this. Okay, let's take a look around. What's going on here? Oh, God, is that Anderson, Mother Dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Dead coyote lava cave. A camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. Oh, what the hell is that sound? Another bounty. Oh, I've got to find another way to that cave. At last. Yes. One four jumping. six three. We're at the designated site three zero one. This is Radio Free Oregon. Ooh, the truth. Ooh, that's a big friend. That's a big friend. We're wine and babies. Suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. Because the locals like to call us, they were. I've been meaning to ask one of you guys. We can't underestimate them. You guys? Yeah. You've got to know the chief monkey bucks are hiding out there in some bunker. How the virus, you know, jumped. Waiting for the freaks to die off. You mean the hundred jumps? You mean the hundred jumps? Or their precious constituents? I mean, we've seen it in cats, dogs, birds, and wolves. I didn't think it was possible. They you know the what the viral, zoonotic, and neuroinflammatory disease is, Corporal? Mm -hmm. They're sitting in the crowd, no, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Rabies. Meanwhile, just we're like out here dying, suffering. Spreads also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. Saliva, blood, they didn't account semen. for one thing. Oh, that's just gross. And while we're out here, we're going to the freaks are gone. Tiles, even incense. Just even all the way down here. I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. What's it mean? For us, I mean. Look at the musculature on this subject. The swollen and distended superglenoid tubercle. The ulnar and radial tuberocytes. Run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy. I got you. a tire off a motorcycle while doing it. What it means for us, Corporal. That we should be glad that most mammals are going extinct. Better them than us. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, better them than us. Let's get out of here.
Sneak around. on with Captain Curry. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor. Oh! <sighs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that truck truck. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. 
Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. And seven. Hey, hey, it was... Lieutenant Weaver, you there? At the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. <laughs> ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, Cinnabar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard <laughs> to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these, uh, shacks? <sighs> not that in here. Yeah. Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. What did he say? Red Rock, Dull Luster, Cinnabar. Yeah, and now I just gotta test it. All right. Let's see if this pump is working. There we go. Can of fuel. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Good. Or get the hell out of here. All right, let's see how pure this is. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do. All right. Hey, I gotta look around. I find some more. Okay, the 
Let's test you out. Samples is all I need. Here's some more. See how pure you are. Nice. This will work. Just one more. Gonna need more cinnabar. Cinnabar, that's good. Good. Yes, you'll work. And now I just gotta test it. Elevator shaft. Oh, god damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, hold on a sec. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the hall as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver out. A narrow beacon? In here? Huh? Micro recorder? Huh? Jesus, that's a big guy. Yes. Yes, it is. Field Here note had all 2072. The We're at site 69. The... Where are we? The Lost Cabin Mine. Thank you. Mm. Lost Cabin Mine. It's about to do We have euthanized a specimen of Homo sapiens mutans corporosis using 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. Reference field note 2071, where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake. What 
used to be the visitor's center, I believe, to this mine. Currently, we have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits, living patterns, or... How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutants corporosis extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so what? Before they became infected, they were... Get St. John, the Captain Corey. St. John and Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. Lieutenant. <laughs> no, man, leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. No. Okay. Uh, I think that's what you were looking for. Uh, yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, gotta... Hey, man. By the way, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch. You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all. That'll be all. You can St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. 